up? So it's your girl April and I wanted to give you a first impressions on a body garment, a body shaper that I recently just got. Now for one, I did do a video on a waist center that was from another company. I think it was called or Orchid Orchard Corset and I absolutely love this waist cincher. Um, it is the basic one that a lot of people wear with the boning in it. However, these do get really hot and also they can become somewhat painful at times um, because of the boning on the sides. It does seem to kind of like dig in my sides sometimes. So I don't wear this as much as I should. However, I will tell you this, like I stated in the last video, it does take some getting used to and you do need to mold your body to the actual garment um, or the body shaper. So for one, when you first put it on, it's really, really uncomfortable. And for two, you have to withstand the uncomfortableness. And for three, you need to just let your body mold and shape into it. So I have been wearing this, but I haven't been wearing it. I wore it with one of my red, my red dress, which was really, um, it's a bodycon dress and it does fit tight however the only thing that i didn't like about it too much was you can see kind of like in the front where the actual clasps were depending on the material that you wear you can see the clasp but also that part didn't really bother me as much the part that bothered me a lot was the back part where the boning was at it seemed like it just was kind of like bending in my skin and it was making it so uncomfortable and it just kept like kind of like rising up and I had to constantly pull down so I'm not sure if it's because of the fit because for one if it's really comfortable it's not too small thank God and it's not too big so I'm really not sure what the purpose or the reason is for that so I really didn't wear it as much as I would like to but if I want to wear a shaper I do need to be comfortable it's not about waist training for me I just want to look nice in my clothing I'm not trying to get that hourglass shape because let's be realistic we're human beings I'm not really trying to look like I got a tiny tiny teeny waist you know what I mean I would like to but I'm I'm just thinking realistically so instead of me trying to pursue that waist trainer like I've been doing I decided to get something different this one is more or less Kind of the con same concept, but it's not the same concept. It doesn't have the boning in it, but the actual fabric is a lot more comfortable. And it does hold you in. So this one here, I got it from CurvyMall.com, and I'll post the information for you girls below. They do carry a lot of shapers, as well as a lot of clothing for us plus-size ladies. And I know a lot of people say to me, I'm not plus-size. I am plus-size. Um, I am plus-size. I do wear size 14, 16. And once you're size 12, that's plus-size. And I wear plus-size. So my size that I wear is a 1X or an extra, extra large or 14, 16. So I am plus-size. Um, now with this one right here, like I said, this one doesn't have the boning in it, which is fabulous. It's more comfortable for me to wear, but it does have like the hooks right here and a zipper closure. So this zipper closure, you're not able to see it as much. Plus the straps are really thin because I do have a waist cincher with the, the thicker straps, the vest. And the straps are so thick on that. So the straps are a lot thinner, which make them like bra-like. Plus, this sits underneath your girls, and it's an entire suit. There is a area in the actual garment that you can, you know, just use to go to the bathroom. I don't use that. I would just pull it off because I really don't trust these. And it does have like a lace um, trimming and the ratching at the in the the back side. So I'm going to show you exactly. The difference of how I look without this versus with this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my, um, I'm going to put on my, this is a tight fitting shirt, like a kind of like a bodycon shirt, so that way you can see how I look without this garment and then with it, so you can see the difference. Because there is no boning, but the material is really sturdy. So let's get into that. Okay, so. I decided to put on my red dress from Forever 21 because this is the one that I wore with the actual other waist center that I was kind of complaining about that you could see through the hook. So I don't have my body shaper on yet, meaning I don't have my new one on, but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like without it prior to me wearing it. Okay, so as you can see here, I do have a little belly fat. Who doesn't? You know, to me, it's not attractive. I would like to look a lot more neater in my clothing. But this is how I look 
without the body shaper. Now, I have been losing weight and I think I've lost some of it in the back area, you know, which is unfortunate. So, this is without the body shaper. Now, remember, like I said, the straps are like bra straps. So, because my dress is like this, it makes it a lot easier. So, I'm going to go and put on the body shaper now. So now I have the body shape on, as you can see, the little straps from it are right here. I do think you can remove these. You can remove them, so if you don't need them in or want them in for that day, you can take them off or conceal them more. But, so I have it on, and for one, it does sit right up underneath my bra, so it kind of like raises my breast up a little bit more, which is awesome. I need a little support. So now, this is what it looks like on. Now, of course, it's not going to give me like a flat wall figure flat, but it gives it a little, you know, just a little more control and it looks a little neater. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened to the back area on me, but hmm. So this is what it looks like with the body shaper on and I'm not inhaling or sucking anything in because if I was trust me I would try to suck in all of this right here but that's not happening so yes so this is what it looks like on so some of the bulge is gone and I do get the same effect from the actual waist trainer Curvy Mall does have the waist trainers on their website, and I will show you how that looks as well, as opposed to this one here. Okay, and so now I have the regular waist center waist trainer on that you can also get from Curvy Mall. The one that I have on is not from there, but they are the exact same ones at CurvyMall.com. Um, the ones at Curvy Mall are a little bit cheaper in price. You're probably like saving... 25 30 bucks which is a big difference and mine's only has three hooks uh, two rows of hooks the ones on curvymall.com actually have three rows of hooks which is a lot more beneficial but for the price difference i would definitely check out curvymall.com because everybody loves to save money so i do have the regular waist waist center on and you can find these every single wear nowadays everywhere so as you can see with this one um it, it does raise up my girls somewhat but now I have it on and you probably can't see it on camera but I really don't like the actual hooks going through my material but the results are kind of the same um, I think the other one was a little did a little bit more a little bit better for my actual bust area up here because it slimmed me down a little bit more. As in this one, it's kind of giving me no shape, no figure. My breasts look smaller. They're not really sitting up as high as the other one. This one kind of looks like I don't have anything on. And this is the actual corset um, orchid one. Yeah, so this one really doesn't do it for me like I would have expected it to as a lot of people say these do. They, to me, are more or less, they're not miracle workers, they're shapers. They are to make you look a lot more neater in your clothing. That's my concept of it. I don't think you're gonna give a whole different shape from them. It may take away some, but it's not going to fully take away. But if I was to choose, I would definitely choose the first garment. So let me take this off and, um, Go back to my regular clothes. Okay, so I had to change back into my prior clothing because wearing that waist cincher when it's 106 degrees outside is too hot. It seriously is too hot, especially because it kind of like constricts your breathing. They got the bone ache inside, so it's too hot for that right now. It's too hot for anything, to be honest, but yes. So as you can see the difference between the two of them, it really depends on the preference of the person. 
Um, I per se honestly like this one a lot better because it's more comfortable. It's a lot more breathable. It kind of shaped me a little bit more better, especially up in this area. Opposed to the actual waist cincher, maybe that may be, uh, I may need a smaller size with that one. But for this one, I do prefer this one a lot more. It gives me a lot more coverage as in the way I want to wear a shaper. So I did go up a size, so I have a 2X. But, um, and that's because I'm so funny about these kind of body garments because if it fits too tight, I will give up in a, in a minute and I will not wear it. It does have quite a tight stretch, so you're not going to slip into it like you would slip into like your panties or what have you. This is not a struggle, but you do need to put some work in to put these on. And the best thing that I would say to put these on, just like I've learned with my artists, um, is to kind of like... Put them upside down kind of like and you could just pull them up basically instead of shimmying into them you would kind of like step into them and flip them up on you if, if I'm explaining that right but um yes with this one like I said it has a zipper right here which is a lot easier than hooking and hooking but of course it does have the hooks here as well each hook has two fish and eye hooks on it so you can actually move up a size over opposed to just as a waist cincher would but I do prefer this one a lot more than the actual waist trainer waist cincher. But as I stated, CurvyMold.com has a lot of different shapers. It's only, it's up to your preference what you prefer. Everybody prefers something different. You may want one of these and a waist cincher at the same time. It all depends on your moment, the moment you're in, what you're wearing, and things like that. So it's always best to have more than one shaper as well. Um, they do have full body ones, they have dress ones, they have these ones, they have just the waist ones, they have a load of different ones. Besides that, they have many different items for clothing for plus size. So yes, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just my first impressions. And as well as that, as I post all the information for Curvy Mall down below. And as always, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe, and like this video if you found it helpful. And as always, stay diva and divalicious, and I'll see you girls and guys on my next video.